Have you dated anyone since filming has ended? I got an ick from him when we were in a group setting off camera. I don't know if I should say this. That immediate connection deterred him from making or wanting to make any more connection with the other girls. There were conversations in a house where the girls were like, well, he have not gone on a date. Like, I'm pretty sure he's gonna go on a date, you know, tomorrow or he might change his mind. I'm like, he's not changing his mind. Like, girl. Louise and I have talked about this a lot. And I feel like we wanna be done talking about it. Today we are hopping into our catch up episode of Curvy Connection. It has been two months since we finished wrapping the show and we just wanna say thank you so much for all the love and support on season one. We have gotten so many questions from you guys asking, how's everyone doing? Are Jules and Louise still together? So I had our contestants send in some update clips answering your most desired questions and we're gonna see how our Curvy Connection couple is doing. Doing. Before we check in with our couple, let's go ahead and check in with all of our amazing other ladies and ask them your questions. Before we get into it, I actually just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart um, for supporting, for watching, for honestly just uh, being there for the ride. It was an incredible experience. Uh, shout out to Alex and Yarmin. Um, it wouldn't have happened without them. But for the ones who personally reached out to me, you know, through uh, Instagram, through socials, saying that you felt seen and related and heard, that's what we did it for. You know, like it, it was just so rewarding to know that you guys understood and that was, that's what it was all about. So thank you to you guys for supporting, for watching, my friends and family, everyone. So why don't we just jump into the first question. Your favorite part of the experience? That's a, that's a toughie because honestly, like overall, the experience was my favorite part. It was, it was such a new territory for me. I am such an outgoing person, but I have never been one to want to be an influencer for one who's been on youtube for one who kind of was just out there socially i guess on like platforms um so for me it was 100 percent new uh for me to be doing this so it was a little nerve-wracking but the first night i remember getting there and it was megan who was already at the house when i got there and the and I was obviously so anxious and so nervous, but having you know met her being one of the first person I ran into, she gave me a hug and like it was that also and Alex being friendly, the experience was just um, incredible. The girls, the girls, I'm telling you, it's like a sisterhood, and um, they made the experience worth it. Luis made it, you know. He was just a friendly, honestly, such a great guy. And all the girls, Fatima, Aubrey, Megan, Jules, Alex, Nancy, the whole project was just my favorite part. My favorite part of filming and the entire experience was probably meeting the girls and being able to say that I have like a close knit friend group with girls all over the country. And it just feels so good that like, if I ever have a problem, I can literally text them about anything. I swear we have literally talked about anything and everything from like boys and dating and family trouble or drama that like, we don't even have like real full knowledge of or just like about my move or working a new job or just like stupid things, like silly things. We send each other TikToks, we send each other Instagram DMs. Like I just feel like that friendship has been my favorite part of the entire experience. I feel like I gained five extra um, older sisters. I mean, <laughs> I already had one overbearing one, but now I have five. Um, the girls and I literally text like every day, all day, um, to a point that if one of us like misses a day we end up with like 400 messages to read from throughout the day also i'm sorry alex i keep looking at myself and not the camera i'm so sorry love you hi cuties so oh i've had so many favorite experiences on the show it's so hard to choose one but i do think my top 
favorite experience from the show would have to be the pool party. It was so fun. It was so cute. Alex and the team went off and the vibes were there. The drinks was popping. And even though that Flamingo all gave us a run for our money, I'm a stand of the Flamingo flow. It was amazing, but it was, it was giving fat phobic the way nobody could get on that damn Flamingo. But that was my favorite memory. <laughs> oh my God, where do I start? Uh, so many things. Um, well, first of all, I would like to say thank you to Alex for being an incredible host, uh, a dear friend, and just an overall amazing human. Thank you so much because, you know, she saw something in me and she was like, okay, I want, I want to see this girl in the show. It's just, it's incredible. Every time I think it's been already two months since we recorded the show, but every time I think about the time that I spent in the house with the girls and I shared those memories with you, it's just, my heart fills up with so much love and joy. And I mean, I'll never get over that experience. I'm just going to say it right now. I'll forever be talking about it. My friends are probably like, we're so tired of her talking about it. Oh my God. Like, I feel like I have so many takeaways from the show. I feel like there's so many things that I took for myself that I was just like, oh wow, like this is incredible. <sighs> when I think about my experience with Curvy Connection, I don't think there is just one thing that I can choose and say this was my favorite thing about the show. Um, well, number one thing is the fact that we were able to tell our stories and reading people's comments like, oh my God, I relate so much or this is something that I have been going through as well, or this gives me so much hope and light because I do see my body being represented in a dating show. And, um, or I love watching this with my boyfriend because this is just something like, I don't know, like it was just so cool reading people's comments. And also like, you know, again, like I do have a little bit of presence in social media. I do post stuff and, you know, obviously I don't have like, the experience or the following like Alex has for example but you know I'm, I'm just getting started um so I'm kind of used to like the hate comments and I don't really take stuff seriously because I'm like I don't know this person like how can I get upset about somebody saying something about me when I don't even know these people like they're not paying my rent that's my biggest thing you're not paying my bills I don't know you goodbye um but like the amount of comments that I read that I was just like like bewildered I was like how? Like what? Like how do you have people have time to invest into something that is cringy and makes you sick and then like leave this nasty comments? And I was just like, we're doomed. <laughs> but obviously the amount of love and the amount of positivity will always, always um, balance out the amount of hate that we got. So I mean, if you're one of the people that left a beautiful comment and decided to show your support and, you know, spread positivity, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Um, I mean, if you're, if you're a, a sore, miserable person who decided to, you know, waste precious time of their day to say something so, 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 so bad to the people that you don't know and you've never met before, then I'm sorry. I know, pick up a hobby. Regrets from the show. Ooh. Mm. Do I have any regrets from the show? No. <laughs> no regrets at all. It was definitely, I remember the day before I had contemplated, I was getting in my head, if it was something I even wanted to do. I knew that I wanted to do it, but I think it takes a lot of courage to be vulnerable and put yourself in a situation um, like that, like the circumstances, you know. I did, we all went in not knowing what to expect, who, who, you know, like we were gonna like, if whether we were gonna click and, you know, personalities. And it's just a lot, I think, to like kinda, process so the night before I was getting very anxious and as I'm sure a lot of the other girls were too super excited but um no regrets from the show I have none whatsoever the opportunity presented itself I submitted my video not thinking that I would get picked which is even crazier I was with some friends on vacation who I had to obviously tell what was going on and kept you know the project a secret but um 
I remember them just being like, you need to do it. Like this is something that you need to do. So no regrets from the show, the people, the experience, the opportunity. I just had the best time. Regrets from the show. I, one thing I really regret is not being my full self, my full like outgoing self from night one. I feel like I was with the girls, like when the camera was off, but I think once the camera turned on, it was like scary. <laughs> I just let my, my like anxiety, nervousness get the best of me, but I think I felt like I had to be perfect and I wish I would have just like let my walls down a little bit from the get-go because I think it would have showed who I really am from the start. Like I feel like even in my intro videos, I was really polished and put together, which like I'm not like at all like in real life no I might look it but on the inside not polished I swear I wish I would have been like just like myself like right now like I feel like I can talk to the camera a lot easier now knowing that people know what I'm like and they either follow me on Instagram now or they've watched the show or they watch the bloopers where I rap pimp in Pennsylvania um which if you guys don't know go to karaoke song just for the record. I don't really have any regrets on the show. Um, I feel like I came, I showed who I was. I was unapologetically obs. I was giving myself who I was and giving my space to be who I wanted to be. So honestly, I have no regrets. I think my only regret was that it wasn't longer and that I can't go see my friends anymore. Like that we're all spread out and during our adult lives. So I guess one regret would be to do it again. Remix, make it longer and never ending. Have you dated anyone since filming has ended? Drum roll, please. I've gone on a few dates with, um, you know, one person and we're just taking a day at a time. You know, I think ultimately all the girls that submitted videos for the show are looking for love. We all want love. Like, isn't that kind of like what this life is about is, well, if you want those things in life, right? That we all want to find love. And if it didn't happen on Curvy Connection, then we got to kind of hop on the, the wagon and do it again ourselves, which isn't ideal because dating is really exhausting and really repetitive. But you girls got to put an effort. So we have gone on a few dates since filming has ended. And I'm just having fun and I'm just riding the wave. And I love my life you know, independently. I love my life. I love what I can provide for myself. So dating isn't something that I make as a, it needs to happen. I need to go on dates to find the guy of my dreams. No, I think I just do it when I can, when I want to, with no pressure. And like, whatever happens, happens. And I take that like life too. So, um, yeah, so. Yes, I have dated since the show has ended. My dating life since filming, I haven't gone on any official dates, much to everyone's dismay. I also want to clear it up that yes, I have talked to men before. Yes, I have hung out with men before. When I said I've never had a boyfriend, it meant that a man has never put a label on it and said like, Megan is my girlfriend. I've hung out with guys, I've talked to them for months on end, weeks, months. Like if I'm gonna date somebody, I want somebody to put the label on and say like, no, Megan is my girlfriend, like, but nobody's done that yet. So that's what I meant when I said I haven't had a boyfriend. Just wanted to clear that up, sorry. Um, but I haven't officially dated anybody. I've had quite a few men on the roster talking and like doing dating apps. Um, I've had some people slide into my DMs, um, but I haven't officially like gone on a date or dated anybody yet because I haven't really found anybody that's like intrigued me enough to be like, yes, I want to go on a date with you. But I also think that that's just from me being picky and knowing what I want. I can't verbalize it, but I know like when I feel it, I'll know sort of a thing. Um, I think that's why I also like haven't had a boyfriend either like they either haven't put a label on it or I haven't put a label on it and said I want this person to be my boyfriend so that's my dating have update I dated anyone since filming um I have I have been talking to a special guy um nothing 
too concrete to spill the tea to the girly pops, but I've been dating and dabbling and meeting some great people. So I'm excited to see if I have a future curvy connection in the future. Fingers crossed. Um, I'm on dating apps. Um, I, I can say that I like, I am actively dating. I have gone on a few dates. I kind of like reconnected with a few people from the past. Um, I, I don't know. I'm just honestly like summer is a tough time for me because like I work full time and then I also like try to have like this like full amazing social life with my friends and go to the beach and just enjoy different people's company. So it's like, I don't really have time but mostly i don't think i am very much interested right now and kind of like you know if to me right now like as if today whatever today is when i'm recording this to me like actively dating is a little bit of waste of time and i said what i said and i know that my opinion on dating changes quite often as if right now i'm a little bit a little bit tired from dating apps i'm a little bit kind of like uh, I'm over them for a little bit, you know, I'm, tr I, I truly believe that I will find the person that I would like to be with, um, in the wild, you know, I don't know why this is just how I've always felt about it because I feel like everybody that I have always cared about, uh, I met them in a while. So I don't know. I don't think this is going to be any different, but we'll see, you know, again, I'm, 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 I'm young, I guess. <laughs>I think it got jumbled in the actual show, but I was the second one to go for um, the little speed dating. So I think he hadn't even talked to Jules one-on-one -on -one yet, but I think then he that was the time he gave me the most attention. And so I felt like I was willing to open up to him and willing to put myself out there for him. Um, right off the bat, we didn't have much in common. I always say that like the common denominator with me and a lot of men are that I really like sports so I can talk to them about what's happening in the NFL maybe about some MLB teams a little bit about oh you know I heard about this NBA game or F1 or college football like I can kind of spit off like that like or oh I saw this headline about soccer like even though I'm not necessarily a super fan in all of those sports I do keep up with headlines and I know what's going on in the sports world most of the time not all the time but some of the time so like that's usually my in with guys is I can talk to them about that but Luis really isn't into sports at all and so they kind of lost my in with him 
there and so I kind of was already at a disadvantage because I just didn't really have anything to talk to him about. I will say the one-on-one, -on -one, the five minute speed dating, that was the first time and probably the only time I felt like Louise's full attention was on me and I felt like, oh, this might be, like this is what it's supposed to be like when a guy is really interested in you. I kind of got an, I don't want to say ick because like that's kind of a stupid word for it, but I got an ick from him when we were in a group setting off camera because he, I don't know if I should say this. We were in a group setting and it was Jules and him on one side of like the couch and Aubrey and I sitting in chairs. Aubrey wasn't really paying attention, but Jules, him and I were talking. Like I was trying to have a conversation with him, even just as friends, but he, like Jules said something like, you know, and then I picked up the conversation where she ended, like, you know, how a normal conversation goes. Um, and he showed up, I was a few sentences in and he cuts me off and asks Jules a question. Like, oh, sorry, didn't know I was speaking. That is like one of my, like, it wasn't even like a, oh, I, he's adding a tangent onto my story and then asking Jules a question. No, 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 no. This was a full like two minutes after she finished talking and I was talking about something and trying to add on and add a conversation in that he just like cut me off from it. And I was like, okay, rude. Had a big red flag from that one. And that was on like day two. So I was like, mm -mm, no. But I kept an open mind where like in the real world, he would have been done. Then at the pool party, again, I tried. Like I was felt like I was pulling teeth in that conversation to have anything to talk about. That's why I was talking about the freaking weather. Like I'm trying here, people. I was trying to talk about his, where he's from or where he's living. I tried to like bring up something we had in common, but we just don't really have anything in common. And I think he also didn't want to see anything in common or want to see past surface level when it came to me. I feel like with all of the other girls, he asked deeper questions. He asked like more in depth about them personally, where during our one-on-one, -on -one, I had to give up that information. He didn't ask me any personal questions. I had to say it. Like it was a question that wasn't really that deep, but I had to make it that so he could understand that like, there's more to me than just what meets the eye. I did, I was able to show him that there's more to me than just what meets the eye at first glance. And I don't, I think he took it for granted for most of the experience, if not all of the experience, but I didn't feel a real connection with him at all. Honestly, I, I don't even feel that much of a connection with him as a friend because we truly have nothing in common other than this experience. We just don't. Did I have a genuine connection with Luis? I did. Um, I feel like I did. However, I felt um, almost immediately that it was definitely very much friendly um, and not romantic. And I really was appreciative that he felt the same way. So I felt like it kind of immediately like detached all the the crazy anxiety and feelings and just allowed us to really, you know, dive into the friendship. Um, and vibe out that way. So yeah, I had a really genuine connection with him that way. Um, I do think that um, my date with Louise was probably the weakest of all dates, if I can say so myself. Um, only uh, in terms of planning the date, okay? Um, I did feel a little like salty, not because of the fact that, oh my God, he didn't choose me. Like he chose the person that he is absolutely in love with. And that is incredible. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, it was just like less than a week worth of shooting. And these people literally found each other. How amazing is that? But, you know, I was also a contestant on a dating show. So I do also have my own opinions when it comes to stuff like that. So I do believe that other girls got a little bit of better chance of getting to know Luis and having a better environment. I felt like there were so many people and because like the only time that we got to interact with each other was during painting, Luis seemed too involved in the whole painting process. He, he did come off a little bit as a as a perfectionist to me, like, oh, let me make sure that this is good. Cause I was there like just, 
you know, doing whatever. <laughs> I mean, I enjoy my painting, but you know, I like, I'm on the dating show. Like I want to talk to you. I feel like we both felt a little bit weird, you know, and um, I'm the type of person I like, especially on a date, I will fill the voids with conversations. I will fill the silence with some noise. That's just who I am because I, and especially when you're being filmed, you know, like you don't want to just sit there and, you know, not say anything because I feel like that's the impression that he got from me that I'm the type of person who's just like, what are you doing? Which, you know, it might be a little bit. I don't know. I feel like the date could have gone better if it was a different type of date, but I still enjoyed it. I still had an amazing time, obviously. I think that post shooting when it came out and about and we were like sharing it on socials and there was a lot of, you know, promotion for it and whatnot. Um, I think everybody that reached out, my friends in particularly, like my friends were very supportive and just like, this is so you, you have such like a personality for it. Like, I can't wait to see, you know, the show. I definitely think that I overall had such a great support team. You know, when they reach out and they're supportive, like that's kind of why you pick your circle because they cheer you on whether, whether I found love or didn't, like they were just so invested and so committed to making sure they were watching on Tuesdays and then on Thursdays, um, you know, reposting and sharing and talking about it. So it made me feel so amazing and that I knew that I was doing this and I felt when I kind of got like their support, it made it easier to kind of like accept and embrace that what I did was unreal. Like I was like, wow, I was really on a dating show. And even now I think I'm like, oh my gosh, like when we go out and about, my friends will kind of like, you know, make jokes and tease me and like, they'll be like, oh my God, this girl was on a dating show. And like, it's even still hard to process that, but it happened and it was unreal. My friends and family were really, really supportive. Shockingly, I thought they would kind of laugh and giggle of us. We had a little watch party, um, popped some champagne. My nephews were there, my sister was there, my brother-in-law, my friends, my friend's parents came, even her dad. Like I thought it was gonna be just her mom. Her dad showed up, I was like, it was, and like childhood friends, so like I've known them my entire life. And so it was really awesome for them to be there and to watch it. I had my aunt text me. <laughs> she literally texted me that night and said, well, you know, your grandparents had a 13 year age difference. So you never know. And I was laughing so hard, but it's been almost shocking how supportive they were. I thought they were all just gonna like roast me the whole time. They ended up being really supportive and like even my mom was watching and was like, he kind of wrote you off. So it was really awesome to see everybody. And like my friend had a FaceTime date with her fiance while watching and I was shocked. I love how many of my friends, boyfriends, significant others were watching as well. I think that's so funny. Oh my God, my family and friends are truly the light of my life. They. <laughs> They were my biggest fans and supporters in this entire experience. I honestly was a little nervous to tell them that I was going to go on a dating show anyway, because this is one, I do love watching dating shows, but seeing myself be on a dating show was totally different, totally different vibes. Um, so them being there, they supported me. They hosted a whole fan club. Like they really have my heart and really allowed me to step outside my comfort zone and motivated me to take the extra leap and just be myself and be unapologetic in whatever I decide to do. So love my family and friends. They were great supporters and still are supporting me. Um, some will say a little annoying <laughs> um, today by sharing all the videos. They are truly my biggest fan base and I'm forever grateful for them, forever. Uh, my friends and family have been the biggest supporters ever. They were so excited to see the show. And when the episodes finally came out, everybody was like, okay, I see now, I see now why are you talking about these girls the way you do? Because they're incredible. They're like, you guys just, like a couple of my friends asked me, they're like, did you guys know each other before filming the show? And I was like, no, we literally met right then and there. And then we started filming that same evening for the cocktail party. And they were like, that's weird because like you guys literally look like you have known each other for years. And thanks to Alex, she did see something in us and she was like, mm, I have a feeling about these. I was not surprised that 
Luis picked Jules. No, I think that it was very evident that they had a very strong connection from the jump. On a show, people think that it's different than, I guess, like your feelings are and your emotions are different than like in real life. Like, cause I know when I'm on a date, like outside of the show, when I'm on any date, you know, like in my past or whatever, like when I feel like a spark, not like a connection, like, ooh, that's the one. But like, when you feel a connection with someone, you pursue it um, and you kind of just focus on that person because connections are hard to come by. So um, at least the older I get, I think that way, romantically at least. So I think that he definitely, they both felt the connection and they pursued it. And that's exactly what the show was about, was finding a connection. So I was all pro and for that. You know, I remember when we would come back from our dates, our solo dates, our group dates, we would all like debrief and it was always there and it was always their connection. And it's not that we, it's again, second part of the question. It's not that we didn't get a fair chance. I definitely think that it was just hard to pursue someone else when a connection is so strong, AKA Jules and Luis, right? So I think honestly, like he did give everyone a fair chance. He did indeed. I remember on our dates, like he, it felt like it was just us. Like, it's not like he was talking about Jules on our dates. It wasn't like he was talking about, you know, just like twiddling his fingers and bored. No, like he genuinely, I believe at least, um, put his best foot forward and gave everybody the same amount of time, you know, and attention in our dates. Yeah, and, and even to kind of just, I guess, give you just another idea so i truly thought that aubrey and jules had a connection towards the ending because they were kind of the one of the last ones i had um a solo date it was getting a little tricky like we knew that jules and louise had a very 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 strong connection but then you know aubrey went on her date and i really thought they connected and i think a lot of the other girls too they're so similar with their passions and what they have you know their interest in about just kind of like um diversity and just all all of that like i we definitely saw it they had a connection uh and now ultimately yes it was Luis's call to pick who he wanted to pick but there were many other instances that i don't know if they were on camera off camera but that aubrey and Luis had a lot of moments and i think that that played a role and kind of like ooh, like Luis you know there's a connection there but like is that strong enough to kind of surpass Jules's connection with him again I, this is because Luis is such a great guy and he offered so much of his time and he made everyone feel special on their one-on-one -on -one dates I think I was the last one who had my solo date yeah I was so I was the last one to have a solo date with Luis and I remember <laughs> If I'm being very transparent, I remember that um, we were all at the pool. So Aubrey was on his Aubrey was on her date with Luis, and the girls, the girlies, were poolside, just hanging out, talking. And but I remember telling Jules, who was in the pool, and Fatima, that I was like, you know what? Like I am excited to go on my solo date, but I don't think that I am like excited in a way that's like butterflies like I can't wait like you know like a second date because at that time and at that point we had already Luis and I had already had a few solo moments that weren't on camera yeah like you know if I would have felt something romantically I think I would have felt a little tingly by then so you know wrapping up to kind of get ready to go on my solo date I wasn't as enthusiastic but I was excited to hang out and have fun and all the girls were like just have fun just have fun you're going bowling so I knew that I was gonna have fun um so that's exactly what happened and you know i also felt bad for him he was probably so exhausted imagine dating five beautiful bold ladies in such a short amount of time you're exhausted you are literally mentally physically emotionally exhausted from having such so many great conversations yes it was fun but it's exhausting so i had i have to give it to him because that's a lot like i get i get burnt out from going on one extensive long date like in my dating world <laughs> we started enjoying our solo date and it was so much fun we went bowling and we made so many jokes and 
I felt the connection even on our solo date, especially when we got ice cream after bowling. But again, the connection was just super platonic and he is such a great guy. And I, I thoroughly, sincerely enjoyed my solo date with him. And you know, I am so grateful that he was able to see such a vulnerable side of me because of how awesome he is that he was able to pull that out of me. And same with him, he opened up too. So I remember going back to the house after our um, solo date and you know the girls kind of wanted to know what like had happened and i said oh i cried but like he also opened up too and he held my hand and like i think you i think you guys saw that he held my hand in my dating scene but it wasn't romantic and so when i had kind of um delivered that message to the girlies they were kind of like oh, he held your hand and you kind of run with that and you just assume like he wouldn't have done that if he didn't want to but it was it was so innocent and i was crying and he was just being a comforting a comforting person at the time and he just like kind of like reached over and that was it but i remember then we had were eating dinner this was off camera and a lot of the girls were kind of like well i think jules actually approached me because he was giving his he was going around saying goodbye hugging all the girls he hugged me and it was just a very you know very sweet hug when he came to me and he and then he gave the girls like you know a goodbye and another hug and then he came back to me he looped around and he was like hey like i had a really great time on our date and he hugged me again and i remember i don't know if it was fatima or aubrey or megan but it was jules had also like was like i think he likes you val so at that point now i think he likes aubrey and jules and now the girls think that you know, he liked me. So again, all to go back to the fact that he is such a great guy and he truly just brought out the best in all of us. And he saw, you know, such great sides of us because he he was, you know, so sincere. And he, he is, uh, again, a great guy. Was I surprised that Louise picked Jules? I gotta say it with a straight face. There is no part of me in this entire world that I thought he wouldn't pick Jules by the end. I think you can even tell in my like when he's talking to me that I am like yep totally knew it uh-huh uh-huh like I think that's how I felt like while he was talking to me like it wasn't meant to be rude or disrespectful to him but like it was like yeah dude like let's just hurry this up like I know you just want to talk to Jules like we all knew it anytime in between stuff like if he came back from one-on-ones he only talked to Jules even if it was just like friends hanging out it was only Jules only wanted to talk to Jules. The more I watch it back and the more I think about it, the more it irks me that he just blatantly was disrespectful to me, honestly, in the grand scheme of things. That's how I would label it in the real world. So I'm gonna label it like that on the show. Especially with so many people reaching out to me and saying how much they could even tell, like full complete strangers have commented on it or DM'd me on it and said that he basically wrote me off from day one. And I was like, yeah, well, I'm not gonna say that I didn't write him off in my head, but I tried to not act like it. He didn't get that memo. Sorry, I'm roasting Luis and I, I don't mean to be, but I'm just in a mood. I'm PMSing, I'm so sorry. I don't think he gave any of us a fair chance because he was so dead set on jewels from night one, or maybe not night one. I would say since his one-on-one. -on -one. I think he had an inkling that he liked Jules a lot from night one, but I think at night one, he was still semi open-minded about it. But then by day two, it was done. Like he had picked Jules, which is fine. Like I'm not butthurt about him picking Jules. I really don't give a shit. I guess I could add to my, what I regret from the show is not speaking up and demanding better treatment from him. And honestly, I could say that I regret not doing it to messaging him but honestly before this comes out maybe i will message him so he's at least not bombarded but i would say that's maybe another one of re my regrets from the show is not speaking up and saying i deserve respect even if you don't like me romantically i still deserve respect especially to my face i just didn't like that and i that's something that's very important to me is respect and i don't think he respected me the way that i should have been and he didn't treat me the way I should have been, even as a friend. Like, this is not even about the romance part of it. I understand that we didn't have a connection. That's not the part I'm mad about. The part I'm upset about is the fact that because he didn't have a romantic connection, he treated me like I was lesser than, or that he was kind of always looking at me with a judgmental eye, or blatantly ignored me, or cut me off while I was speaking. And I just, 
I didn't like it. I didn't like the way I was treated by him even as a friend. Um, to be quite honest, I was not surprised at all that he was going to choose um, Jules. Um, it was kind of like how the viewers saw it. Um, straight off the bat, the connection was there. The chemistry was there. Um, however, I do wish that Luis would have, I don't, I don't know if I would say fake it or act like it, but I really feel like that immediate connection deterred him from making or wanting to make any more connection with the other girls. And I do feel, um, that was a little bit of fault on Luis's part because he missed out on getting to know some really great girls. Like, really amazing girls and I feel like as humans do when we get excited about one thing you put your eggs all in one basket and I think after a while it turned into um the Jules and Louise show which I'm a fan I'm, I, I stay and I have no hate or negative um feelings Tori but I think um Louise kind of got tunnel vision and wouldn't um allow himself to connect with any of the other girls um, which is his vibe and it turned out amazing. But I do think to a fault that he should have gave um, the girls a, a, a fair chance um, and didn't just go straight to Jules immediately because there's a lot of behind the scenes that you didn't see. Um, and to be honest, it was very much uh, a couple thing, which I can't deny because their connection is unbearable. I mean, undeniable. But however, I do wish that he would have gave us um, girls another chance or even pretended like he was gonna give a connection but hell i'm gonna get my kirby connection and i'm happy they got theirs uh did i think that um louise was gonna pick jules uh i did right after they went on their date because when she came back like you know we, we're, we're girls we're gonna be like how was it you know obviously we're not gonna be like all right i don't want to know how your date went so obviously we, um, and she was, she told us everything that happened. You guys saw the date. So I don't know why I need to like tell you the deeds, but I was like, and then the other girls were like, so like now comparing your date to his, to her date. Uh, I was like, well, we were vibing too. But then like when she was talking about how like they were holding hands and this and that, I was like, none of that happened to me. Like, I think we were vibing, but now that I'm thinking about how you guys were vibing, I don't think we were vibing at all. But <laughs> so I, I did think that he kind of he chose her um right then and there this is my personal opinion okay and that i'm entitled to i do think that um what jules was trying to tell louise the whole time during the show was the fact that hey like i'm very flattered i really you know i enjoy your company and i enjoy getting to know you but i feel like you know you need to give other girls a chance as well because i feel like you know, I, she might have felt a little like guilty or she might have felt like a little uncomfortable because she was like, okay, hey, these people have not gone on their dates yet and you're all up in my face type of thing, right? But but I also feel Louise because I think what he was trying to do, he was trying to prove to Jules that, hey, like I'm all about you. Like I, I don't think he wanted to mess whatever they had going on by, you know, expressing interest in other girls or plain and simple he was just not attracted to anybody from the get-go but her which again he's entitled to that but that's just my opinion I think they were both in this very uncomfortable situation where he didn't want to mess it up and she just felt like all the attention was on her and maybe she was just it, 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 it's a very new experience you know when you're like on a dating show and all eyes on you and then like you have like four other women that are like oh maybe maybe it's gonna be me maybe it's gonna be me and I remember like there were conversations in a house where the girls were like well he haven't gone on a date like I'm pretty sure he's gonna go on a date you know tomorrow he might change his mind I'm like he's not changing his mind like girl he's all about you <laughs> but now that I think about it I'm like oh my god how wild is that the two people randomly met Ugh, fell in love and now they're dating mom and dad they make fun of me for me saying mom and dad but they're my mom and dad and I remember at the pool party um I kind of you know I kind of like already took a step back because I feel like I'm the type of person that I just I I, I know when I'm wanted and I know 
like if somebody's interested in me so when i don't feel like they're interested in me i don't want to knock on that door again I'm, I'm that type of person i don't do well with rejection and i'm just you know like I'll, I'll never be knocking on the door that is like forever locked you know but i was just like whatever like i i, I get the friend vibe you know i'm pretty sure he got this he gets the same vibe from me so how about i just vibe and i kind of let other people who might be interested um kind of like show their interest or I you know he can kind of like relax and just express interest to one person that he wanted to so I don't know I just want to say thank you again to Alex and Yar for you know choosing us for seeing potential in us for taking this leap with us you know this was a new project and adventure for them too it was a learn as you go and i really do think that it turned out incredible for her first project and i'm so thankful to have met um all of my girls it's like a sisterhood it really is and we get each other and we talk almost every day in our group chat and it's just so special and I would have never have dreamed that this would happen. And these girls are going to be, you know, my four lifers. And hopefully they're going to come visit me soon in the fall, New England fall. So we'll see what happens. But there has been some talk about the girlies coming to visit. And I hope that it happens because I am so ready to be reunited with these girls um, and laugh my butt off because when we're all together, we are untamed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, um, Alex, for putting this together, for being a rock star and for making it all possible. We love you and we love you, the viewers, the audience, for your unconditional love and support through you know this learn as you go project bye guys love you what happens now after the show is completely wrapped life is changing very fast for me um but now i have a whole new area of men to hit up on dating apps and in real life i do have to say that curvy connection was a once in a lifetime experience and the women made this so worthwhile like so fucking worthwhile they are incredibly strong and powerful and intelligent and courageous and confident and i think there's literally a clip of me crying on like the second night because i was so happy i met these girls when i tell you that i don't think i'll ever be the same since meeting them my confidence has been lifted tenfold I know my worth even more so. I know my worth in a dating sense. Like I knew my worth before, but maybe not in dating. I think I would have taken it for granted. I can't thank Alex enough for pulling together this group of women because they made this experience. And Alex made this experience and Yar, I am so happy I met them and I'm so happy that they came into my life at this moment in time because I think I'm really just coming into myself and I think that they've helped me so much where I thought I knew exactly who I was and I do think I'm still the same as who I was but I think I'm just such an elevated person. Elevate, I've just elevated myself so much with their help through text and through that week and through Instagram and through like DMs and just feeling like I gained this whole new sense of myself on top of who I already knew I was of just knowing that like I can handle anything and the fact that I can be like oh I was on a t reality show like ha 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 is so funny to me that was so random I'm so sorry I think my brain just short-circuited I'm so excited to see where our friendship grows as a group because I think um some of the girls are coming to my house for Thanksgiving we might be doing a Friendsgiving in New England we might be you know, going to everyone's houses and seeing how everybody lives. And I think it's gonna be so fun. Um, and I love my like face. Like I get a smile on my face every time I see a notification from any one of them for anything, whether it be Snapchat, messaging, DMs, Instagram likes, comments, anything. They just put a smile on my face. And I am so happy with all the love that people have been showing the show and feeling like they feel seen and they feel heard and they feel 
represented because we deserve love too. We're not just cast offs that you throw away. We are intelligent, we are smart, we are beautiful, we are confident, we are so many things other than just fat. And I think that this show can help show that and let people in on a world of five other women who don't make fat their only personality trait. They are so many other things, they just happen to be fat and overweight. And that's okay, because we're happy and that's all that matters. My girls, I wanna talk about my girls. <laughs> they're amazing. They, they're all such bright, kind, sweet, gentle souls. They're all different, but we're all kind of the same. There are so many things that, you know, we are, we don't agree on, but we just, I feel like we have learned how to be gentle with each other, even though we have only known each other for not even two months. Um, our group chat is the most iconic group chat ever known to, to humans. Uh, we keep in touch with each other every single day. I have told the girls things that I haven't told even my closest friends. That just, I don't know. It's, it's so crazy to me because I always say like God loves me because I get to meet the most incredible people throughout my life. And you know, when you're like after a certain age, when you're like 30, you're like, okay, like I have met all my friends, you know, I have met the people that I'm probably going to be, you know, close with for the foreseeable future. And then boom, you meet people like I met on the show and you're like, okay, I guess I'll have to like spread out my heart and make more room. Um, and I made room for them and they're incredible and they're amazing. And I only hope and pray that we will continue being friends. We're already talking about a girls trip and seeing each other. And, you know, I want to be a part of their life and I hope that they feel the same way about me. My personal takeaway from the show, it will always be the fact that you deserve to be loved and you deserve to be wanted and you deserve to be admired and you know everybody deserves to feel something big and incredible and amazing and magical uh, no matter their weight no matter their height no matter their social background none of those things matter if you have a good heart if you believe in yourself and if you know that you are worthy of all of the things above so I don't, the, the show only, you know, magnified the, the feelings that I had about like myself and about this incredible community that I have built. So again, if you guys ever need somebody to be your internet bestie, somebody to support you and somebody to let you know that you are beautiful and deserving, uh, make sure that you follow me. Let's be friends. And this is just the beginning. You know, Alex, you're incredible. What you did with Curvy Connection is just, it's just a beginning for you. You know, I do believe that this beautiful, incredible human being has incredible plans ahead of herself in the future. And I would like to be a bystander and maybe hopefully take a part if she wants to <laughs> and see what the future holds for her. And uh, obviously I would like to see what the future holds for, you know, our lovers, Luis and Jules. Um, I love their love. They're so cute. Now let's check in with Jules and Luis, or as we've come up with on the internet, Team Julis. And we were lucky enough to get them while they were together on their first trip where Luis was visiting Jules in Seattle. We are happy to report they are going strong, but let's go ahead and ask them some of your juicy questions. How has it gone since filming? Do you want to answer that first? Sure. <laughs> um, I think it's gone better than I expected but also I knew that there would be challenges and that it would take a lot of work and effort. I think we've been able to rise to the occasion. I think that being in a long distance relationship is really hard. You know, Luis obviously is here now, um, but that's short term and he's going home soon. Yeah. And you know, while he's been here, it's been amazing it's been amazing we've had so much fun it's been lovely to just be in person and be a normal couple normal relationship i think um, it's going well though 
Good. Me too. Jules, were you surprised he picked you? Do you feel he gave the other girls a fair chance? Um, am I surprised that he picked me? <clears throat> No, I was not surprised that he picked me, to be totally honest. Um, I think that Luis and I had a good connection from the beginning. Uh, I think that Luis sort of wears his heart on his sleeves a bit. Um, this obviously was a very unconventional way of dating, but I think he was pretty honest when we had our one-on-ones and when we were together, he was very open and honest about his feelings towards me. But I wasn't super surprised that he picked me. Did he give the other girls a fair shot? I think so. I know a lot of people think that he did not from the comments I've read. Uh, and I know I made a couple comments about wanting him to give other girls a shot. And mostly that's just because I felt like we had such a strong connection from the beginning. We vibed a lot. Um, and again, this is very unconventional. I don't think it's natural to want to date a bunch of people at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I think if you're connected or interested in somebody, you sort of want to just move forward to get to know that person. I, I feel like you gave them shots. Yeah. I mean, I definitely tried. Yeah, I feel like there was a connection between you and I. I don't know. I guess I, guess I feel sort of on the fence with that answer. I feel like you tried as much as you could to give people a chance, but I also think that you and I had a connection from the beginning. Yeah, absolutely. So it was And kind so, of yeah, I, I mean, maybe I can touch in on that a little bit, just saying, you know, I, like, I gave people, I gave the other women, uh, <laughs> hey, bud, I gave, I gave the other women, um, my full attention. I mean, I, I gave everything I had, but obviously, like, the emotional connection is something that it, you, you just can't, you either have it or you don't. I definitely had it with you. Um, and so I leaned into that, um, especially like when we were together, but even when we weren't like necessarily on dates together, like I, you know, I definitely tried to show you that like I was interested in you and wanted more with you. Do either of you have any regrets from filming? Um, not really. I had such a blast filming. I think the other girls are phenomenal. I think that they're fun, young, have so much spunk in life. I almost couldn't keep up at times, but I also think that they're phenomenal women and I'm so glad that I met them. Um, obviously I'm thrilled to have met Luis. I don't know. I think the only... Not even regret. I guess the way it was filmed or edited or whatever the case may be, um, it, I look a little standoffish. And there were definitely times where I was trying to, especially when we were filming, like, you know, encourage Luis to just make sure everyone gets a fair shot. You know, what I didn't want is for him to pick me and us not work out and him have regrets on not giving other people a shot. Um, which I think he, he tried and, and did give people chances. And yeah, so I think my only sense. regret, which maybe isn't even a regret is just showing, you know, the, the true feelings that I felt for Luis during the show. Yeah. And I think you did a really good job showing me that stuff off camera, which, you know, especially like after being together with you, like knowing how you just knowing your just the style of, of how you kind of like do life in a relationship. You know, like not being extremely like open with your uh, affection and stuff like that. Like I, I can see that now and, and can look back and say, oh, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. So I, I, I can appreciate that. But also like, I can also just like look back and say, wow, like the moments that you and I had together that were not in front of a camera mm -hmm. were the moments that had me constantly coming back to you and you know like in my decision making there was so many opportunities that you and I shared it, it just it just made the decision making so much easier I, I don't think that there was ever a time that when you and I interacted that I left the interaction thinking she's not the one or she's not the one I want to choose going back to the question the one thing that I regret is that like a lot of people can't see that so then in a lot of the comments post show, they said, oh, he's just not, she's not that, uh, she's not that into him or 
he's into her, but she's not into him and stuff like that, which, yeah. you know, I, like, I'll say this, um, and I kind of alluded to it after the finale in my, in our live is that like the day, day four, we had come back to the house and I had, um, it was after Aubrey's day, Aubrey was doing her, her one or her like post day interview. And I, um, so Alex was like, if you want to go downstairs and hang out with the girls while we do this interview, I was like, okay, great. Well, then Aubrey came up and then we hung out down there for maybe five minutes. And then I think Alex said something like, all right, everybody come up real quick. And all the girls went up and it was Jules and I down in the basement. And as we were walking up, you know, I, like Jules just gave me this sign that she wanted me to be close and to, you know, I, to like, I don't know. And so I pulled her in and we kissed and it was, I think it was in that moment that I knew that like, she was just as interested in me as I was in her. And that doesn't mean, you know, even though I had a date with um, with Val after that, it doesn't mean that I didn't give Val a chance. And like, I think what the, the date with Val was so amazing and it was really great. I had such a good time with it. But at the end of the day, it was always about a romantic connection. Um, and I, felt that I only had that with one person and it was Jules. It says, Jules, you mentioned Luis wasn't your usual type. Has that changed? <laughs> Luis and I have talked about this a lot and I feel like we want to be done talking about it. So yes, historically I have sort of had a type. Um, however, I'm going to say that this experience has sort of opened up my horizons, if you will. Um, and even if I wasn't with Luis, I do feel like I would be open to other types um, after this connection was made. Luis and I have a very deep soul connection and it's almost as if the physical initially, for me anyway, I can't speak for him, didn't really matter. Um, but once I got to know his soul and, and we've had this connection, everything else has just grown from there. Um, so yes, I mean, historically speaking and on paper and in pictures, is he not what I normally would date? Yes. However, I don't really care anymore. I don't really care to talk about it anymore. Um, he's amazing. We have a wonderful relationship and we've made this really good soul connection. And so I'm not really thinking about that anymore, but I do think if Luis and I were to ever split part ways, I do think I would be a lot more open to other, um, other men outside of my norm, if you will. So has it changed? I guess. Yes. I guess the answer is yes. <laughs> uh, the last question was, what was your favorite part of the show? The whole thing was amazing. And I know, I don't know, people might think that that sounds silly and whatever, but it was such a cool experience. Like you, it's not every day that you get to be meeting new people on this journey um just with a bunch of strangers being filmed and it was phenomenal alex and yar are phenomenal people it was fun the girls were fun Luis was fun the activities were wonderful we were treated wonderfully mm -hmm. um we had a beautiful you know rental tons of food way more food than we could ever eat drinks it was just it was a blast i feel like it was a once in a lifetime experience and it was amazing yeah I don't know if I can pick one thing. You're going to say something <laughs> sweet and deep, uh huh? No, okay, so like, I, so the, the hard part for me to pick one thing out of the show is that like, as being like the m main person, is that like, I got so many interactions with everybody, you know, I like my interaction. So like, to pick one thing, if, okay, if I had to boil it down, my favorite part of the show was, uh, was coming away with, with her. You know, obviously, yeah. I mean, she is such an amazing woman. She is this. She's strong and passionate and compassionate and considerate and loving. And she's just an amazing mother. Aww. And all of these amazing things. That's sweet, right? But on top of that, like you know, I like so that if if I had to pick one thing, it would be that. Like you were saying, the whole the whole experience was amazing. The whole yeah. time was amazing. It was awesome. I had favorites with all of the people individually. I had favorites, you know, throughout the days. And then, you know, at like, 
but like if if I had to condense it all down, it was it was uh, it was going meeting you coming away from the show with a relationship that is healthy, that is fulfilling, that is just so good. It's so it's it's good for my like, spirit, but it's also just very good for. It's just good. Yeah. yeah, that is definitely yeah. We have a very healthy spiritual connection. I feel like it's not your standard. 2023 rough toxic sure yeah <laughs> i shouldn't say standard not all relationships are that, that way right. but i do feel like we have a very deep connection and there's of course going to be issues and there has been issues that have uh, come up mm -hmm. but talking through it and getting through it and having that good communication is critical yeah. and i think that me and louise have very quickly become very very close if not best friends and i think that's huge in a relationship yeah um and it's awesome it's not necessarily something i expected from the show to be honest no absolutely i i definitely did not go into the show thinking that i would find somebody that i could uh see a future with but definitely have realized that now and i think that that's awesome to see somebody that i want to invest time and effort into i love that and i i i love that i have that and I could, I definitely don't think that I could have had that uh, with anybody else on the show except for Jules. And that's why I'm so grateful for the show. Uh, picking, I guess we'll leave it at that. <laughs> I love thinking about the show just because it just always makes me think about you. Oh, I see that. How cute are Jules and Luis? We are so thrilled that they are happily in a relationship and in love. Again, a massive thank you to all of you for watching and supporting, to our contestants, and thank you guys for all of the love and support. Make sure to follow all these amazing people on their socials. I will put their Instagrams down below. And if you need to catch up on the season of Curvy Connection, I will put a link to the playlist with all the episodes in the description box. Thank you for watching.